Do you want to watch a YouTube video? Yeah. Tony's channel. Okay, let's set this down gingerly right there. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube fam? Check it out. All right, today I'm doing, the reason I'm videoing this in high definition, which is 1080p, is because I got something in the mail that I want you to see very, very well. I'm very excited about it. It's a very awesome product. And I'll just show, show you the case right here. Hmm? You know what that is? Oh, yeah. So I'm filming this in 1080p, which is Blu-ray quality. Uh, just the first segment of it, you know, because, you know, it's no sense in filming the whole thing that high definition. Besides, I can't see myself. I like to see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Because I had uh, the the forward facing camera or front facing camera isn't like that, and it doesn't focus in on things like this one does. I hope that does. I can't tell if it focused in or not. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. Um, but um, anyways, um, I'm I'm gonna show you. This is uh, of course the Chase the Heat um, hot sauce spoon. I, I guess that's what you call it. I really, I mean. You, you get it off of the uh, Chase, uh, JohnnyScoville.com, and it's Mother of Pearl, and I, whether or not, I mean, I believe, because I have no reason to doubt Johnny, especially after all the advice he's given me, he's always been right, but whenever he says, you, you taste your um, hot sauce with it, and you don't taint your hot sauce with it, believe him, because... Hey, even, if, you know, I believe it's the truth, but just the visual of this thing is the lagney app of having the thing. You know, it's just going to be even greater if I get an advantage with the hot sauce, you know, and get more of the robust flavor. But let's get into this, shall we? Let's, let me show you, without further ado, what it looks like. Dig it out. What do you think? Hmm? I'm kidding, y'all. That's just a plastic spoon. <laughs> but no, it is this guy right here. Mother of Pearl. Look at this beautiful. Y'all see that? Focusing in on it. I mean, that is, craftsmanship is beautiful. I don't know. It didn't cost very much. It was like 20-something bucks. For something like this, that's not a lot. In its own carrying case... Man, I just love having this. I showed Ann this spoon last night, and she's like, oh, perfect for feeding a little bit. You know, our, our daughter, our baby daughter, her food. And I'm like, well, yes and no. Might get another one just for a little bit. But I don't know. It may be fragile. I don't know. But um, it is definitely out of a clamshell of some sort, maybe an oyster shell. Um, I'll have to ask Johnny and see. Today has been a. I don't have. I was going to wait to do this when I got the hot sauce. I got some Reaper squeezins coming in from Ed Curry at P P Pucker Butt <laughs> Pucker Butt Farms, and um, I've been waiting to get that, and it hadn't come in yet. But um, I just I'm, I'm gonna have to make this little video its own thing, you know. Man, I love that this thing. It's beautiful, polished, really nice. All right, that is that. And he also sent some Reaper, uh, Carolina Reaper corn nuts. Can you see that? Yeah, I thought that was very exciting. All right, let me flip this thing around real quick. There we go. Okay, now y'all get to see my beautiful face in standard definition again. <laughs> But man, I love this this thing. See, see, it won't it won't focus. That, that front it just does not do it justice. That's why I did that. But I mean, it's still, even still, man, you can see that shining iridescent beauty. You know, that is just that's a wonderful spoon. Look at that. Look at that. What? I, I I'm gonna buy another one of those. I just gotta have another one. But. This is not why, well, yes, this is part of the reason why I made this video. 
but I have something extremely funny. So funny, man. I just, I've been laughing all day, okay? <laughs> Belly laughing, okay? First off, I watched uh, Johnny's video where he got into Tommy's picks, and then he starts talking about me doing the, the uh, ter Tuba Terror, and he had a blast with that, and I love it. I laughed the whole way through that. So, they went in... The next video they uploaded was with David Martin, Big Al, and they were at the shop, and they did this nasty, nasty, I mean, I, I, you know, I must have used my smell-o-vision, I don't know, because I almost gagged watching this, and he says it's probably the grossest thing he ever he's ever done, and I think this stuff has a little heat to it, but it was some fermented um, curd, bean curd, I think is what it was, I don't, I, I can't exactly remember. But um, I, I just want to play a little excerpt from, from that. If you don't mind, I really appreciate that, man. Because I want y'all to laugh. And I want y'all to go go to Chase the Heat, watch that video. And, oh, my God, you, you're you I've never seen him like this. I even put a comment. And I'm going to – let me show you. Let me show you what he what he did. Um, where Where is it? Let me pull it up. And I'm going to pull up the spot where – he looks. I said he looked like you took a T Rex and threw it in a in a in the spin cycle. <laughs> Hold on, man! I ain't never seen him like this. This is hilarious. That dude can handle anything, but for it, put him in this situation, I've never seen him in that situation. It is hilarious. I love it. It was so entertaining. But let's look. It's salty. I was surprised at salty content. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my eyes are burning. My, my eyes are burning. They're burning. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, that's a oh my god. It's scarred inside. Ethan does that. Ethan does the T Rex. You know, when he gets like, you know, a little uncomfortable about something, he'll do the T Rex. We call it the T Rex. When I saw that, it reminded me of, of Ethan doing the T Rex, man. That was so funny. Um, but let's, let's, uh, Let's take a listen at um at where where he's 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 having he's having a blast, man. This is I love this. This is classic Johnny. Thank you. I know I wouldn't disappoint Tom in that. Tony Reeves, man, this makes everything hurt just this makes my everything hurt just watching this. Even my toenails. Awesome hoodie, my team. Yeah, they were wearing a Saints hoodie. Um, that's uh, Tony his, Reeves. His son, we'll talk about Tony in just a moment. Uh, take it from a guy who's done two tubes in under 10 minutes twice. Eating these pants fast is not easy, and, and you're right. It hurt me to watch, so I chose this because I truthfully get it. But I also want to tell the entire world that I'm actually a New Orleans Saint fan. And that sweatshirt was stolen by my nephew when he was in Reno, along with a bunch of shirts that my brother Johnny stole from me as well. Every time I watch a video, I'm like, hey, that's my shirt. That's hey, that's my shirt. Hey, that's my shirt. Thieves, both of them. That's Tommy hey, Stovall, his brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna own this. I'm not leading to the pitch and taking one for Johnny Jr. I took that New Orleans sweatshirt. I did, and I and but I don't think I took any shirts here. So I'm serious. If anything, I'll, I'll I've sent you some. So, but I'll send you some more. I have some for you. But uh, let me talk to just for a moment about Tony Reeves. Go check out Tony Reeves Peppers, please, and give him a follow, please. He's a good guy. He did the Tube of Terror. Uh, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday? Um, Brutal. He did a great job. It was, it, it, from about ten, about nine minutes, eight minutes, to the end of the 15, of the end of the supper session, is really entertaining. That was uh, hilarious. He said, holy smokes, twice, and I was <laughs> dying. It was so funny because I've been there. Like Tom said, I know that. It almost gave um, me the Holy Ghost. Then did an aftermath video, which I thought was great. Make you speak um, in tongues. Yeah. I hope he doesn't mind me talking about it. He's a good guy. Not at all. Please. Thanks. He's a chilly head. You gotta give him some respect. Appreciate that. But uh, he said, I'm not, I'm not hurting too bad. I asked him, I sent him a message saying, Hey, do you, you cramping up a bit? And he's not, I'm good. I think he's a little warm, but he's gonna be all right. And uh, he messaged me after. The guy, listen, he's tough as nails. I just want you guys to know Thanks. that. If you have it, Cap um, I kill got two of terror course through your system. You, don't, you haven't lived. I mean, that's. that's, that's <laughs> That's an experience you just won't forget quickly. These are 
can do it. No, Get that away from me. No joke <laughs> at all. So go check out that video. Uh, you did a great job. I uh, did after that. It was just super. Um, and give him a follow. He's a good guy. Thank you, Tony. Uh, next up, are you joking? Ragnar? Uh, can someone help me out here? What are the challenges that get you in the League of Fire? I must be an idiot. Nah. I got something else. Um, man, Johnny, Johnny is a wonderful guy, man. He's given me so much advice and it absolutely free advice man you know nothing to gain from it just a true friend and and there's not a lot of people like that in this world he was raised right and that was a good man right there a really really good man i can go on and on but i'll you know i just basically bore you but um thank you brother appreciate you now let me let me pull this up I'm sorry that I ate them all. This is not a product review. It's just something I wanted to get on here and show you guys that if you want, I'm, I'm really, I hate to use the term, I am a snob when it comes to shrimp stuff. Being from Louisiana, we, we are snobs about our shrimp, okay? And that goes with, we, you know, if we're going to get our shrimp, we want it fresh from the Gulf because we got tons of trucks around here. You know, you can get it a lot, a lot. And our shrimp are colossal. You know, we, we don't, we, you know, some might call them prawns even. But there's so many times I go and I buy into getting shrimp crackers and stuff like that. And I'm like, nah, nah. let me tell you something. I don't know what pepper this is, but you can read it. You want to. It's a chukaluka buka du buka du buka pepper. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. But this is the product. And I pretty much you're going to only find this in the Asian market. I'm pretty for sure on that. But oh my God. Are these crackers delicious. Oh my God. These things are so good. When I opened them up and I ate the first one. I was like oh man I got to do a product review on these things. Sorry guys. I couldn't stop eating them. I ate them all. They're gone. Um, and I guess they got a little spice to them, but you know, we're not going to be able to, especially after the tuba terror, you ain't going to be able to taste no spice, but the shrimp flavor is phenomenal. Okay. This is no garbage here, guys. Incidentally, you'll notice I've been getting a little scruffy. You're going to see more of it. I'm going to start growing my beard back out. I want to just do a little change up. I not had my beard grown out in quite a while. I want to see how much gray's coming in. I can't wait till it all goes gray so I can just do the whole gray thing. May one day just grow out a big long goatee like somebody I know. <laughs> I love that man when he eats something he gets really fanatic about it. That goatee just goes all over the place wagging like a dog's tail. I love it man. It's hilarious. Alright y'all. I'm going to holler at you later.